Dear child of God, the Lord would renew your strength today in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you have gotten tired. You don't want to pray anymore. You don't want to seek the face of God anymore because you think God is not paying attention to you. Dear child of God, do not get tired. Do not get weary because your blessings will come. Your blessings will locate you and your joy shall be full in the mighty name of Jesus. It says for at the right time, you will get in the grain. You will get in the harvest. Dear child of God, I promise to show up for you. It says when the time is right, I will show up for you. I will do everything that I've promised to do. Dear child of God, God is the promise keeper. And he said his word will not return back unto him void and empty until they fulfill the mission at which they were sent. Dear child of God, the Lord is saying to you today, don't get tired. Don't become weary. He says, don't give ways to tiredness, for I will do you well. I will be gracious unto you. I will cause you to rejoice. I will cause you to dance. Yes, you may be asking the Lord, then when are you going to do it? I've waited for years, but nothing has happened. The word of God says, the vision is yet for an appointed time. It says, though it tarries, wait for it. It says, it will manifest. It says, wait for it. It will surely happen. Dear child of God, that time has come that it will begin to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. You are closer to your breakthrough, dear child of God. Please do not begin to complain. Do not begin to complain right now, dear child of God, for wonderful surprises will come your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Please don't get tired. Yes, you have become tired. You don't want to serve anymore. You don't want to give your commitment anymore. Dear child of God, the Lord knows all the things that those who are upright deserve and will bring them your way. He knows that you have held on to your integrity. God will do you well. He says, don't get tired. Thank God Job did not get tired. Even the wife came to Job and said to Job, please cause God and die. Please cause God and die. Please cause God and give everything up. But he will refuse. He will refuse to get tired. Though everything, everything around him wanted him to get tired. But he said no. He said, I will yet trust in him. He was saying to God in Job 13, 15, even if you slay me. Yes, I will yet trust in him. I would wait on you because you are the God of my salvation. He knew that God would come to his rescue. And so he held on to his integrity. He held on to his faith in God. Dear child of God, please hold on to your integrity. Hold on to your faith in God. You see, God was so confident of Job. God knew that Job had an extraordinary trait and character that he was proud of. And Job did not disappoint God. Your child of God, the Lord is saying to you, do not get tired. Do not get tired in doing well. Dear child of God, he says, do not get tired. For when the time comes, when the right time comes, you will get everything that you deserve. He says, if you do not give up, he says, if you will not become weary, you will get everything that you deserve. The word of God in Galatians 6 verse 9 says, and let us not get tired of well-doing. It says, for at the right time, we will get in the grain. It says, if we do not give way to weariness. It says, if we do not faint. Dear child of God, please this day, do not give way to weariness. Do not get tired. Dear child of God, you are closer to your breakthrough. Yes, you have become tired. You have become weary. Dear child of God, you are fainting. And it is true. You have been expecting God to show up. But it seems like it is taking so long a time to show up and so you are getting tired now you do not want to do well anymore but dear child of god please do not get tired for the lord is saying to you at the right time you will get in the grain he was saying to you you will reap your harvest dear child of god you have sown seeds of love yes you have done wonderfully well you have done gracious things you have been of help to people but somehow it looks like you were forgotten somehow it looks like you were not remembered Somehow, the people that were supposed to be a blessing to you did not show up. Dear child of God, God will do it today. And you will receive your bundles of joy and testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, my child, please do not get tired. Yes, you are about to faint. Dear child of God, yes, you are about to give up. He said, wait on the Lord. He says, do not be weary. He says, do not be tired. See, the word of God says, those that wait upon the Lord, he says, their strength shall be renewed. Dear child of God, in the same way God is proud of you. God is proud of your achievement. God is proud of the things you have done thus far. This is why this message is coming to you. 
that you should not get tired. You should not get tired of doing well, dear child of God. You know you have helped people who return back to pay you evil for the good that you have done unto them. You know how you helped them. You know how you said to them. You know how you gave them all the wonderful things that they had. But what did they do in return? They were doing evil against you. They brought pains your way. Dear child of God, they made you to suffer. God is saying to you, please, do not get tired of doing well. For that time will come that every good thing that you have done will pay off. Dear child of God, it says do not give way to weariness. That is, please don't give way to tiredness. Don't give way to the voice of the devil. The devil wants you to give up because he knows that you are closer to your breakthrough. You are closer to your salvation. You are closer to the time that God will uplift you and bring you to the place of rest. Dear child of God, yes, somehow you are fainting. You are getting tired. You see, Gideon was fainting, but he said, though we are fainting, we are still pursuing. Yes, they were fainting, but he said, no, we will not relent. We will not tire out. And God gave him the victory. He knew what God had promised him. And on the journey, as he was fighting, as he was going out there to bring the victories to God's people, he became tired. Yes, he even went to the people of Sukkot, saying we are fainting, but we are not relenting. We are not tiring out because he knew what God had shown him. And so it was at the end of the day, Gideon testified, dear child of God, please do not become tired. I know you are fainting, but keep pursuing. I know you are fainting, but keep pressing on. I know you are fainting, but keep marching on. Dear child of God, I know you are fainting, but please do not relent. I know you are fainting, but please do not tire out. Dear child of God, he says, at the right time, I will show up. He says, at the right time, I will send in the grain. He says, at the right time, you will reap the harvest. Dear child of God, you know there is planting season and there is the harvest season. It is not the time that you plant that you harvest. Dear child of God, you have planted, so you needed to wait for the harvest time to come. And now you have waited, you have waited patiently. It is time for you to harvest all the things that you have planted. Please don't give up. Please don't give up. Please don't tire out right now because you are almost there. You have waited for years. Yes, some of the things took a lot of time for them to germinate, for them to manifest. But the Lord is saying to you, you have done well. He says you have done so well. Don't get tired. Don't get tired at this point. He says don't give way to weariness. I pray for you today that God would renew your strength. I pray for you today that God will give you strength and might. I pray for you today that God will load you with abilities. Dear child of God, I pray for you today that all that you need to have everything going on well for you, God will make available in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you today, whatever it is the enemies have done to have brought fatigue your way, God will deal with each and every one of them and take them off your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you today, you will reap your bountiful harvest in the mighty name of Jesus and you will rejoice for the Lord God of heaven had done you well. He says, let's not get tired of doing what is good for at the right time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. You will reap your harvest. Please do not give up. Dear child of God, please do not faint. Dear child of God, please do not relent. Do not turn back. He says, he that put his hands in the plow and look back is not worthy. Is not worthy to receive the reward of the kingdom of the blessings that are ahead of them. Dear child of God, please don't relent at this point. Please don't give up in your pursuit. Please don't give up in your journeys. Don't give up in your waiting. Dear child of God, yes, they are taking too long to respond. You know that. You have made the applications, but they are not responding. But please do not give up, for the responses will come, and it will be favorable in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't lose it before time. Dear child of God, don't end it before your blessings come. Don't give up on life before your blessings locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will testify of the goodness of God and you will receive all the blessings that God have destined for you to get in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you will celebrate and you would eat the reward of your labors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please don't get weary, don't get tired and don't give up on God for God has not given up on you. Dear child of God, please do not give up on God and I want to assure you you will testify of the goodness of God in the land of the living 
the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.